Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome to my channel. I'm Tina and I'm going to make a banana pudding today. It is absolutely wonderful. It has that old school taste, of course. I would have it no other way. So of course it's going to be delicious, you guys. That custard is amazing. Let's get started. Okay, everybody, let's get started with our banana pudding. I'm just going to add into my saucepan one fourth cup of cornstarch. Just add that in. Then we're going to put in three egg yolks. Leave out the whites for this, you guys. Just the yolks. Put those in there. Then I want to put in two tablespoons of sugar and just a pinch of salt. Now we want to get this nice and creamy, so just mix all this up. Now you can add in two cups of evaporated milk. After it's nicely mixed, you can put in your whipping cream. And it's splattering all over the place, y'all. Oh my goodness. Can of condensed milk. You can use any brand. It really doesn't matter. Now that you've added the condensed milk, just give it a little stir. You can turn it on now. Turn your burner on very low and start stirring. You want to do this over low heat, slowly, gradually increasing that heat for about 20 minutes. Another thing I like to do, you guys, is put in your spatula and just kind of go around at the bottom because you have like egg yolks that'll be kind of stuck a little here and there. Just kind of go in. You're just not going to get it all with the whisk sometimes. So just take your spatula and go around. I like to add my banana extract, you guys, in the beginning because I don't like to stop whisking around in here. But do it real quick. Put it in there. Once it's thick like this, you're pretty much done. Take it off the heat. Do not leave it on there. Keep whisking to make sure it's nice and creamy. We're going to cool this in this pot for about 30 minutes. These are my bananas, you guys. They look a little rough, but they are really wonderful for banana pudding. They look like they should be brown on the inside, but they're not. And this part is totally up to you. You can make your bananas as thin as you like. They can be thicker. It's up to you. And that's just the way it is. Don't let anybody tell y'all what to do with this banana pudding. Make them thin, thick. Do what you want to do. <laughs> that's what I do, as you see. I make my food the way I want to make it. Because I have to eat it. <laughs> And that's just the way it is. And that was a little too big even for me. So let me cut that down a little bit. But that's the way you have to do. You have to cook your food for you. I like a lot of bananas in mine. If you don't, just use less. That's all. But let's assemble our banana pudding. So I'm going to use my glass uh, dish here. And I have all of my bananas, of course, ready to go just cut them up throw them in something it doesn't even matter just put down a layer of custard just a small amount put in there then add your vanilla wafers this is like a box and a half that i have here and it doesn't matter how you guys put these in here. It really doesn't. My family is on my back about this. So I'm, I should just dump them in here. <laughs> I should just dump them in here, y'all, so they can go sit down. Then take your bananas. 
and just kind of place them out. Because I like a lot of bananas, they will be all over this. They're going to cover all the wafers up. Not completely, but enough. At least to have at least one, one banana on each one and then a couple more. Do this as you see fit. This is totally up to you. Please use your own discretion with how many bananas you use. Just like you did with how thick they should be. You know, somebody going to say something about the thickness. Somebody going to say about how many. <laughs> somebody going to tell me something. But it's really up to you. And you take your... Put it like this so you guys can see. Just take your custard and just layer it over. That's all you're doing. And then I'm just making a mess, y'all. Just splattering it. I told y'all they on my back, so I'm just going to throw it together. That's it. Put it in there like that. And then repeat this process. That's it. If you want to sit them up in there on the sides of your dish or something, you can. You really can. You can do that. You can make it look nice and pretty. Or if you're in a rush, you can just layer it how you want because trust me, they're going to eat it. However it looks. <laughs> they're not going to care how pretty it is. Not unless you're taking it somewhere and you really want it to look nice. Other than that, you can do whatever you want to do. This is my last layer of custard on top. And this part is totally up to you. You can crunch up all of your vanilla wafers. You can just lay them on top, no certain pattern. You can just do whatever you want to do, y'all. It really doesn't matter. Because I'm telling you, they're going to tear it up regardless. <laughs> they should. They should tear this up no matter how you lay these little vanilla wafers on top. They're not going to care. And that's it. I'm just going to put a little bit on top. Just sprinkle a little something on there, and that's it. And there you go. An old-fashioned banana pudding from scratch, just like your grandma used to make. I want to chill it before I take a nice bit out for you guys to see it. Okay, everybody, it has been in the refrigerator a couple of hours, and that is, that's a lot for me. I don't really wait that long. I just kind of wanted to wait so you guys could see it coming out. I hope that's a really good picture for you guys. You probably have to go back in there. Look at that piece about to fall off. Look at that. Oh, yeah, this looks really good. Family about to knock me down and get in this kitchen and take over. So I just want to tell you guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you.